Okay, Pastor Janelle with the New Jerusalem Baptist Church. Uh, I may have overstepped my bounds in that last segment, and so I'm just looking for some forgiveness here. Well, you know, your body is a temple, and it's clearly <laughs> uh, obvious that he keeps his temple up. So. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, when it comes to getting the body you want, our next guest says surgeries can help you achieve your goal, but what you do after you leave the doctor's office can help you maintain that goal. Plastic surgeon Dr. Ronaldo Morales highlighted the journey of several patients in the documentary The confidence journey. Morgan Mayo went from patient to going on stage in bikini competitions. Dr. Morales explains how lifestyle changes are at the foundation of the body many of us want. Dr. Morales, a lot of us will show up to the plastic surgeon's office and we go, here I am, now do your magic, yeah. when really for you, you want us to be a partner in that process because it will guarantee that our results last longer and for a lifetime. So what does it want patients to come in mind, keep in mind when they come to you? Uh, the biggest thing that I ask for my patients to do is just be realistic with your lifestyle and your work and personal lifestyle as far as you, what you're eating, your exercise regimen. If you don't exercise every day, okay. Yeah. But you need to eat better. And the goal is really just to maintain kind of your weight and a happy medium of balance of your life. And so when you come to, to a plastic surgeon for some kind of body contouring or even facial aging, the idea is to kind of maintain where you are now. Mm -hmm like that forever. Yeah. So the, sur the surgical changes you undergo will last longer. And so you'll be happier and just everything's always better the way it is. Yeah. Um, these fad diets and you know losing weight and doing all these dramatic changes, it, it never sticks. And so they'll have surgery and then they'll end up kind of rebounding and making it worse and undoing some of the things they've done yeah. already. So it's like having a kid, you don't have a, a baby and then, you know, just Have a tummy like, tuck and, and then have another baby, right? Another baby, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> All kind right. of the same concept. With, with, with the mommy makeover we're about to see, mm -hmm. uh, this is somebody who kind of gone through a journey and we'll talk to her in just a little bit, yeah. but when she came to you, there was still more weight for her to lose yeah. before going under the knife. That's correct. I mean, she had a little bit more weight to go. Um, but it was more for a purpose. So for her, we were going to, we were doing a documentary. It was a confidence journey. So it was more of a, a more of a forced weight loss in a controlled fashion, safely, uh, under my supervision, my coach's supervision, um, to get her onto a bodybuilding stage, which is which is the whole point of the documentary. Yeah, and that's pretty awesome. So it was really cool to see her transformation before and after. It was just phenomenal. She's uh, you know just a testament of hard work and diet and exercise and making better better decisions, eating and just exercising every day. When we say mommy makeover, what does that involve? Because it can be one thing, but if you have the whole package, it's a number of things that just kind of make it like it was. So a mommy makeover would be anything breast surgery, sur surgery associated, like augmentation with a lift to rejuvenate the skin and the shape of the breast, abdominal rejuvenation with some tightening of the muscles that have separated with multiple, child, multiple kids, extra skin that's kind of got stretched out that can be kind of tucked in, and some contour on the waistline to kind of you know reduce some of those trouble areas that they can give you a little bit more of a figure. So Morgan's up on stage coming up pretty soon. Okay. Uh, she's also one of those patients who had that mommy makeover, right. but what she's doing after the makeover is what's gonna guarantee that she still has that perfect body. Morgan, you dealt with some of the things that so many women in particular deal with after having a baby. The pounds come on, you got up to how much? 224 that I actually stood on the scale and recorded. Wow, and your body doesn't look like you can even carry 224 pounds. Mm, I, I was surprised that it was. <laughs> <laughs> but you had been familiar with that you know, kind of weight in your family, I and did. you saw other family members go through this, and you tried everything. I, did. I tried all the fad diets, all of them, um, but the problem with the fad diets is you try it, you initially lose, and then you go back to those old habits and then you gain those pounds back, and then some. Yeah. So then it's just a steady increase. And even like a gastric bypass or you know, sleeve or whatever is not a guarantee. Absolutely not. Both um, my mother and my grandmother both had the gastric bypass and stapling of the surgeries, and it wasn't sustainable for them because they didn't change their habits. Yeah, okay, so you show up to the plastic surgeon's office, in this case, Dr. Morales, yes. and I think a lot of us think that they can just work a miracle and make everything go away, Right. but he made you a partner in what you were wanting to get. Absolutely, uh, he made sure that my diet was on point going forward because it had to be something that was a sustainable lifestyle change. It was not just a quick fix. And even when you had the mommy makeover, so the tummy tuck, I just, I love this, it's like this flat, hard, <laughs> flat tummy right here, right? Uh, even when you had that done, you want to make sure you can keep that. Yes, I want to keep all the shape the way that it's supposed to, the way he worked so hard to put it all back into place. All right, when you're competing, I mean, like every calorie counts. Every single one. So you're doing <laughs> nutrient-dense, 
put good food so you don't have the cravings for the bad stuff. Some of the things that you're going through right here, for example, that you, you made all this. That's, I, I think, did. another thing. When you can actually make all your food, you know exactly what's in it. Absolutely, 100%, because I am a firm believer that in order for it to be a lifestyle change, you have to be able to eat those comfort foods that you grow up absolutely loving because if you feel like you're starving yourself mm -hmm. or completely depriving yourself, you're more likely to fall off the wagon. Yeah. So these were my alternatives for those health, those healthy versions of those comfort foods. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we've done our tacos here. A lot of times we get in trouble with greasy meats or we have like their taco mm -hmm. shell. Right. So these are cauliflower tortillas with cilantro in there for the flavoring. And last I remember, cauliflower is a vegetable, so you're not packing the carbs that you would be Absolutely. on something else, right? Absolutely. And okay. it has a lot of fiber in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the meat on there is 96% lean ground beef. And then shrimp, of course. So that's also very lean. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. If you can make something with water, mm -hmm. you can mix it with coffee. Oatmeal, cooked okay. in coffee, instead of just water. Okay. And then these are my protein pancakes. It is literally just protein powder, baking soda, baking powder, and the coffee. And that's it. Dr. Morales, before I go, you didn't happen to bring home the lipo machine, did you? Not today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but basically, if we're looking to get the body we want, lose the weight, and keep it off, come see you. Absolutely. I'm always here to help, you know, inspire you, you know, give you some guidance. I right uh, just want to help you feel better, you know, look better about yourself. All right. I'll see you at the office. <laughs> This past weekend, Morgan competed in her second bikini competition since her mommy makeover, and she took home fifth place. Those wanting to take their own confidence journey with the help of Dr. Morales can call 713-354-5119, 713-354-5119, or visit his website, drmorales.com, and get the body you want.